And we're just so thankful just to be here. I want to use for a subject just but for a moment. Our lives are told as a tale that is told. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And you find that in Psalm chapter 90. And once you get there, this message will indeed be ours. Mm -hmm. We're so thankful to God that we're here. Mm -hmm. While we remember Sister Eliza, it was already said that she was indeed a member of the Church of Christ there with us. Mm -hmm. and we enjoyed worshiping and serving our great God together. Amen. Amen. And when we talk about missing her, uh, we're not missing her, we're missing her already. All right, Mike. Uh, the family is missing her, the friends of Elijah, you're missing her. Uh, the church at Union Street, we certainly miss her. Amen. When Jesus, he spoke concerning John the Baptist, when you read St. Matthew chapter 11, he said that Jesus, he spoke concerning John. Uh -huh. And he said, of men that are born of women, yes. there have never risen uh -huh. a greater than John the Baptist. All right, all right. But he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than John. All right. I think about Sister Eliza. She was least in the kingdom. All right. Sometimes you think about yourself. Sister Eliza, she was everything to everybody. Uh -huh. yeah. And whatever she was to you, then certainly you knew her. Uh -huh. We think about her children. She was your mother. All right. She was your loving mother. And she loved you. When we think about all the things that life has to offer, open up the door, sir. When you think about her mother, Sister Isella Green, that was Toad's mother. Uh -huh. Isella is Toad's mother. And certainly she has so much love in her heart for her daughter Man. that is now gone. Amen. Think about Sister Vicky Lane. That was her, let me get another mic. That was her sister. Sister Vicky was her sister. Yeah. Certainly you're gonna miss her also, Sister Vicky. Yeah. Eliza was your friend. Those of you who were bringing her, you're gonna miss your friend. But one thing that we need to understand in this life is that sometimes, as the old saying is now, that people often say that uh, she was my BFF, uh, your best female friend. All right. uh, sometimes you think about the best friends forever. Whatever Elijah was to you, All right. uh, then she was your friend. Sometimes we think about Eliza. She had the perfect sometimes smile. Mm -hmm. right. and someone said it earlier, and I said, boy, she's taking part of what I want to say. <laughs> she would chew her gum, and she had one of the most beautiful smiles, and it would just light up in a room. Yes. This is the kind of person that we knew in the sister Eliza. But in Psalm chapter 90, we live our lives as a tale that is told. Yeah, yeah. You know, while we are in this life and we think about time, death is not the end. We're going to stand before God in the day that is called the day Amen. of judgment. Amen. 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 When we leave this world, people are not only talking about us now, they're going to talk about us even when we're gone. We talk yeah. about people. We talk about the good time, the sad time that we had with someone. Yeah. We've lost so many great people that we might call sometimes great. Amen. Some of the greatest people that we ever lost in this world were our mothers. Mm -hmm. Some that have lost mothers. Mm -hmm. So when we think about Santavia and Tommy, you're just like some of us now. All right, all right. 
But she lost your mother at a young age. And we pray and trust that her strength will continue to be yours. That you will go on to live the kind of life that she taught you to live. And certainly we just appreciate the life of our sister Tony. All right. Amen. Amen. Let me open this just for a second. We appreciate her. So all of these heroes of our faith, they may have been your mother, your father, they are your mothers, they are your fathers. Mm -hmm. But some of them, their voices is no longer heard upon this earth. Man. Their footsteps are now numbered and accounted with others that are dead. Man. And we should not think at any time that we're ever exempt because one day we're going to die. All right, all right. One day we're going to leave this world. Hebrews 9, 27. All right. The Bible tells us, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, mm -hmm. then after death comes the judgment. Man. We find ourselves living down here in this life, but one day this life is going to be over for us. Man, man. You know, you think about all of these things, and you think about dying. God, he already knows how we're going to leave this world. Amen. Right. And however we leave, that was the appointment. And that was the appointed time that God had set in his will for us. All right, all right, all right. Just because we're Christians. Just because we're saints down here. It don't mean that we're going to have it easy. Uh -huh. You read St. Matthew chapter 5. Jesus, he talks about that, that he sends his rain upon the just as well as the unjust. Right. He let his sun to shine upon the righteous and the unrighteous. All right, all right. So everything that befalls sometimes sinners, it happened to Christians too. Man, right, man. We're not exempt. Man. These things, they will happen, but our lives are told. As a tale that is told. In Psalm chapter 90, and this message will indeed be yours. I, Lord, mm -hmm. thou has been our dwelling place in all generations. Uh -huh. yes. Before the mountains were brought forth, for all even right. thou hadst formed the earth and in the world. All right. Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. All right. uh -huh. Thou turnest man to destruction and said, Return, you children of men, mm -hmm. for a thousand years in thy sight are as but as yesterday, All right, uh. when it is past. Mm -hmm. And as a watch in the night, thou carriest them away as with a flood. Mm -hmm. They are as sleep in the morning. They are like grass which grew it up. All right, yeah. In the morning it flourished, and it grew it up in the evening. Mm -hmm. It is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger. All right. And by thy wrath we are troubled. Mm -hmm. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee. Well. All secret sins in, in the light of thy countenance. Mm -hmm. For all of our days are passed away. In thy wrath mm -hmm. we spend our years well. as a tale that is told. Yes. The days of our years is three score years and ten. Yes. And the Bible tells us, even by chance, if there come more years upon us, it is the gift of God. Mm -hmm. All right. But one day he said, yes. we're going to fly away. All right. So we can't get too comfortable down here, as we might say. Because one day life is going to end for us. Amen. Therefore, we must be right with our God. There are going to be trials and tribulations and temptations of every day. Mm -hmm. We haven't gathered our spiritual wings just yet. We haven't made it to glory just yet. So we can't start pointing fingers at others. Right. We have to try and strive to keep ourselves right with God. Right. But there are times when people don't know what to do in order that they might be saved. Uh -huh. They've been told all kinds of things. Some have been told, uh, just put your hand on the television and pray the sinner's prayer. Some have been told, just send for the prayer cloth and, you know, all of your answers to all of your problems is going to be right there and you just follow the direction on the prayer cloth. Man. Man. 
They're saying all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But what has God said? In order to be a Christian, one must hear the word of God. Romans right. 10, 17. Right, right. So then faith come by hearing. Hearing come by the word of God. After hearing his word, you must believe it. Yeah. Hebrews 11 and 6. Uh -huh. The Bible tells us, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that's coming to God must believe that he is. And he's a rewarder of them that diligently are carefully seeking. We must then repent of our sin. You say, what is repenting? Repenting is giving up whatever is stopping us from being right with God. Luke 13, 3 and 5, the Lord said, I tell you no. But except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. We must then confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son. Matthew 10, 31, 32, and 33, the Lord says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, I'll confess him, I'll confess her before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, I'll deny him, I'll deny her before my Father which is in heaven. We must then be baptized in water to have our sins washed away. Acts 2, 38, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit God has promised us eternal life we must continue to be faithful unto death John 8 31 32 Jesus said to those Jews that believed on him if you continue in my word then are you my disciples indeed you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free Revelation 2 and 10 the Lord says, but be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give you crown of life that faith is not away. Right, this is God's promise to all of us. Amen. If you're not a Christian, you need to be. You need to be baptized in water that your sins will be forgiven you. Right. And serve the Lord right. before life and time pass us by. Mm -hmm. Because one day we're all going to die. Right. Our lives is told. As a tale that is told. Let us hold his in a word of prayer. Most holy and eternal God in heaven. We come to you at this time. We come to give thanks for your word. We come to give thanks for the family and the friends and others that are here. Dear Lord, we're so thankful that you have given us Sister Eliza. That she lived her life down here. That we got to know her. Knowing that one day. We shall die. Amen. For it is your appointed time. Dear Lord, we pray for her children. We pray and trust Amen. that you will continue to strengthen them and to keep them and to guide them in their young lives. Amen. We pray for their father. We pray and trust that he will be strong in the lives of his children. We pray for her mother, Sister Isella. We pray for her strength that you will have her to continue in her strength. Amen. She will be surrounded by those who love her that will yet comfort her in a time such as this. Amen. We pray for Sister Vicky. We pray and trust that you will continue to guide her life. Right. That it will shine down here as a light that men that are lost can see your son in all of us Amen. before life and time pass us by. Uh -huh. When our lives have come to an end, we want to hear you saying, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Thou good and thou faithful servant. Right. Right. I've been faithful for a few things come. I'll make you rule a minute. This is the prayer that we pray, the thanks that we give. We ask it all in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Undertakers may come.
Very man.